Hello there everyone and welcome back to Lovely Grind. My name is Michael Preeby and my website is www.lovelygrind.com. That's where you're going to find blog posts about spiritual growth, professional fulfillment, and a balanced approach to total health. Welcome back to the series of YouTube videos I'm doing about prescription drug withdrawal and surviving that withdrawal. For those of you who haven't seen my videos before, my personal withdrawal story involves the SSRI Paxil and the benzodiazepine tranquilizer medication Xanax. Those were two prescriptions that were given to me back when I was 21 years old, a college student, and I was experiencing some panic attacks and social anxiety. I went to a family doctor and those medications were given to me and then became a part of my life for the next 14 years, more or less. I eventually decided to get off those medications around my mid thirties. And when I did, I was hit by severe prescription drug withdrawal, and those lasted quite a while for me. I was hit by a series of strange physical and mental symptoms, some emotional challenges, and at first I really didn't know what was going on. It took me a while to kind of wrap my head around the situation, define my situation, and find a way forward, but I did find a way forward. I found light at the end of the tunnel. I found healing. And that's why I'm making these videos to share that message of hope and encouragement and healing with all of you out there who are still going through these withdrawals. Now, the topic of today's video is one that I'm sure many of you will be able to relate to, if not all of you, and that is surviving the negativity, getting past the negativity out there that exists in the form of these horror stories that are so prevalent online. They're prevalent in video form on YouTube. They're prevalent on message boards. There always seems to be uh, people out there who are willing to film themselves at the worst of the worst during the worst of their pains and then people go online and they watch these videos or they go to message boards where people are talking about their symptoms and how they're not experiencing any healing and how things aren't getting any better and before you know it that negativity seeps into the brains and into the hearts of people out there who are hopeful and looking for encouraging information and instead they're finding that negativity and it's dragging them down and actually preventing a little bit of healing from happening because a lot of the healing is indeed the level of our spirits. We have to keep our spirits up and we have to keep hopeful. So how do we get past this information and why is there so much of it out there and why should you not pay attention to it? Well, first you shouldn't put too much stock into these horror stories because every case is individual. Your healing journey is your own individual healing journey. And just because someone else's healing journey took six months or 18 months or two years, just because my healing journey took a while, that doesn't mean yours will. And just because someone else is experiencing this symptom or that symptom doesn't mean that you will. You have to focus on the small improvements you're seeing each day, each week, and each month. And you have to focus on surrounding yourself with positive people and finding encouraging positive sources of information. It doesn't pay to kind of project yourself into someone else's scenario that you see online um, that just doesn't do you any good. Your story is your story, and it's going to be a healing story and a success story if you're determined to make it that way. I truly, truly believe that. Whether you're on one medication or several, whether your taper was lengthy or closer to a cold turkey, I truly believe there's healing out there for everyone if we surround ourselves with positive information. The second reason why you really shouldn't pay attention to these horror stories is because just because people post the worst of what they're going through doesn't mean that later on they didn't also experience healing. Unfortunately, a lot of people feel compelled to only comment on the worst of their symptoms or only go online when they're experiencing pain, but then when they find some healing later on down the line, they neglect to come back and make a video telling everyone about it or go online to message boards and post a success story telling everyone about it. For those of you out there who are doing that, I applaud you and I encourage everyone out there who is finding some measures of healing to share that with others so that other people can be encouraged. Uh, but unfortunately, there is a lot of negative information out there in the form of these quote unquote horror stories and people are posting the worst of the worst, but not the best of the best. So it's just like if someone went online and they're a new parent and they make a video of themselves 
after they haven't slept for 48 hours and they say how terrible it feels at that moment to be a parent. Does that mean that everyone should stop having children and it's just not worth it? No, that's not what it means. You know, if someone goes online after they fight with their spouse and they decide to make a video about it, does that mean that all of marriage is bad and that nobody should get married and that you should get scared away from the partnership of marriage just because you saw this one video of someone after a fight? Of course not. Life has its ups and downs. Every process has its uh, good parts and its challenges. And the healing journey has both of those. It has good parts and challenges. So unfortunately, some people only post about the challenges. I encourage everyone out there to please post more about the healing as well. Now, the other thing we have to consider with these horror stories is that we never know the entire story of an individual who's putting this information out there. People have problems for a lot of reasons, and it might not just be the withdrawal from one particular drug that is making someone's life particularly difficult at any given time. Some people might be on multiple drugs. Some people might not be exercising or eating right or taking any of the other myriad steps that we must take to care for ourselves on a daily basis. Uh, some people might have a ton of stress in their personal life, or they might feel particularly lonely and so forth, and there's just a lot that goes into caring for ourselves and healing. It's a lot more complex and multifaceted than simply, I'm feeling bad today because of withdrawal from one drug. Um, a lot of people are bringing a lot of baggage into their stories and onto these videos when they decide to share them with others. So just remember, we never know the whole story there either when you see someone say, oh, I've been off of such and such drug for five months or six months or 12 months and I haven't experienced any measure of healing. You know, that's that's simply probably a lot more complex story there. Um, and you have to remember that we just don't know the entire picture. So put these things into perspective a little bit when you see them or better yet, try to walk away from these horror stories. You know, after a while in my own healing journey, I didn't go on the message boards anymore and I didn't look at those horror stories. Uh, for some reason, these horror stories out there are kind of like, you know, car wreck footage on the news or something, or forest fire footage. People are just drawn to it and compelled to stare at it, even though it's, you know, disturbing. And for some reason, people in withdrawal are kind of drawn towards these stories because we worry about our symptoms. We worry, oh, you know, it was what I'm going through permanent. Is it some sign that I'm never going to get better? Well, I think I found some information here. What does this person have to say? And then even if it's totally negative and uh, it's not helping us in any way, we feel compelled to keep reading it and taking in these videos. And what we have to learn after a while is we just have to walk away from that sort of content because it's not helping to create that healing environment that is so important to moving ourselves forward and moving our own individual stories of success and healing forward. And that's really what we're shooting for here. So my name is Michael Preeby. My website is www.lovelygrind.com. Please go there and subscribe to my mailing list. That's where you're going to get all of my blog posts. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, comment on here. You can also find me on Facebook at Lovely Grind or Twitter at Lovely Grind. And you can send me questions and comments. Also, if you'd like more information about the coaching services that I've begun offering to individuals who are going through prescription drug withdrawal, please uh, send me a message on this YouTube channel or through any of those other avenues I just mentioned, and I'll send you more information and perhaps we'll talk about that further. So please subscribe to this channel, go to my website, and remember to take care of yourself and your dreams because that's what's important in this journey is taking those proper steps towards self-care. Until next time, I'm Michael Preeby. Have a wonderful day.